in today's recipe i'm going to be showing you how to make spicy fish stew and it's going to be so good so i hope you stay until the end of the video and you will learn something new yeah <laughs> so i'm going to start off by cutting my fish into into pieces i don't want to fry the whole fish Then I'm going to salt my fish. It's really important to salt your fish before frying. And then you're going to place a frying pan on medium high heat. Wait for the oil to get hot and then we're going to fry our fish. Yeah, it's that easy. So as my oil gets hot, I'm going to be salting the other side of the fish so when i was just about to fry my fish i had a visitor and this is my friend brenda hi <laughs> <laughs> um hi everyone i'm brenda and i'm excited to be here yeah she's yeah. a very good friend of mine and she knows how to make fish so today we are going to cook together and enjoy the meal yeah yeah let's okay. enjoy yourselves yeah yeah so our oil is hot now it's time to fry our fish another piece yeah we need to put another piece so that at least we maximize on the heat we make sure that we separate um the fishes so that they don't sit and they are cooking well yeah I know you love fish. I know you, when growing up you ate a lot of fish. I know. You are a lawyer, Bana. <laughs> I have to represent my people. Yeah. 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 So she knows how to make fish so good. Yeah. So we are waiting for this recipe. Eh? Yeah. Leo is going to be good. Okay. Right now, I'll, um, the fish, our fish has cooked um, for quite a amount of time. Now I'll use the skimmer to flip the fish so that you can cook on the other okay. side. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to do that, otherwise your fish will be happily cooked. <laughs> Plus fish usually cooks a very short, in a very short time. Yeah. Very fast. Oh, very fast. Wow, look at that. I remember back in the day, my mom used to sell fish, just around um, where I used to live. So I remember I used to cut the fish, mm -hmm. um, slice it, remove the scales first of all. Mm -hmm. You wash it after you remove the scales, um, then and you the remove the intestines. Yeah. Very important, by the way. You I've don't... never experienced that. It's you're good. Yeah, it's behind. It's like the behind the scenes <laughs> of you making all a proper fish. Yeah, yeah. Then my mom will then come again later on and start um, frying it and selling it to people. Uh -huh. And you used to make by the way a lot of money. So wow. Yeah. <laughs> it was good business, by the way. So from there on, I, I knew how to cook fish. Yeah, yeah. It is a nice experience because not wow. many people know how to make fish. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that perfect golden brown. Yeah, you this can is see what it's this is what so we good. were looking for. Yeah. Wow. And it's very crispy. Crispy on the outside, but very soft and juicy on the inside. <laughs> exactly. That's what we want. Yeah. We are going to wait for this one to cook a little bit because it's not yet ready. Yeah, um, my mom used to sell um, different types of fish. Mm -hmm. We used to do, uh, she used to sell a lot of um, nail patch, aka mbuta. <laughs> then there's <laughs> this tilapia which we are making today. Yeah. And then there's also, there's those little ones they call omena. And mm -hmm. there's another one that I know you don't know. I know, Fulu. Fulu, oh Fulu, <laughs> good. <laughs> oh Fulu, it's like the mother of Omena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what she also used to um, to fry and sell also. Mm -hmm. So even up to today, I love eating fish. I know, definitely. I love, it. I love, love what, eating fish. I love if it's uh, fried with kachumbari on the side. Even like this, it's Even so like this, good. with just salt yeah. as it is like this. It's I'm so here good. for it, mm. yes. So I can't wait for today's um, <laughs> recipe. <laughs> that is nice. So our second fish is ready. Wow. Look, Look at, at that. that. So, wow. It looks so good. Look at it. Very crispy. You can even have it with chips. I'm even salivating. <laughs> huh? I can't. I know. <laughs> I can't. Now we are going to 
place our next piece, piece of fish yes and then i'm going to place the other one the second piece yeah oh god the aroma in this kitchen it's so good mm -hmm. okay so i remember this one time mm -hmm. when my mom had just made fish mm -hmm. so she went outside now to sell the other fish mm -hmm. so when she was outside I went to the pot and I stole a piece mm -hmm. of that fish. <laughs> and I knew she wouldn't know it. Yeah. So me, I was I think I was around uh, maybe eight years or nine years. Mm -hmm. So I took a piece. Mm. But you know the disadvantage of eating fish or having fish is that the order. It, it's there's an the order. Smell. In, <laughs> the order no even when you take one piece, yeah. Somebody can always know that you've eaten it. Yeah, because the smell is so strong. Yeah, so that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I took out a piece, but when she came back and when she wanted to now serve people, mm -hmm. it was it had been portioned into four portions. Yeah. My mom, my dad, my sisters, and then mine. I know. One portion was gone. Yeah. And she was like, Nanya mekula samaki. Mm, so of course, it has to be me. Yeah. Because my sister at that time, she was so little. I was guilty. So what did you do? Nilikula <laughs> muiko. Nilikula muiko. Very fine. But it taught me an important lesson. Uh -huh. Table manners. Yeah. You know, not eating things in, inside the kitchen before they go to the mm -hmm. no main mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned a very good lesson. But I will never forget the whooping. <laughs> Even the neighbor had to come and tell her, Mama Brenda, utau wa mtoto. Utau wa mtoto. So, sorry on my life. Yeah. But I know you can relate to it. Yeah. Maybe your mother was yeah. strict. Yeah. Like my mom. Mine was very strict. Although we didn't... <coughs> what? <coughs> my mother... <laughs> Your mom, how was she? Growing up, my mother didn't make a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. Actually, even we didn't fry the fish. We, we used to buy a salad. Yeah, well, yeah, like what your mother used to do. Mm -hmm. So I never learned how to fry fish, but I've done that in my own time and place. And now I'm... You are a perfect cook. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. But you guys, you're blessed to have her. Yeah. Bless God bless technology, mm -hmm. God bless Kobia. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we're going to check yeah. on our fish. Yeah, we're going to check on our fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> the lure, the lure, the lure. <laughs> Please don't use that against me. Okay, we're going now to flip our fish so that the second side will will um, of course cook over mm -hmm. remember to do it gently so that the oil does not um uh, now spill on to you splash on you yeah. we're using our skimmer of course to flip it you see they have done it slowly mm. it's very important and gently gently slowly so that also the oil does not does not um now splash on to you you're a pro I'm Scovia, a quick one. Um, do your children enjoy the fish as the way you used to do when you were little? Back yeah. in the days? Yeah, they do. Actually, when it's like this, crispy, it's the best. Because it has a little bit of salt flavor in it, mm -hmm. and it's so moist on the inside. So they usually enjoy the fish. As it is crispy. As it is. Oh, Even wow. in tomato sauce, same, they enjoy. They enjoy. Actually, it. what they don't like is omena, but I try and push them to eat to the eat fish it. because of course. it's healthy. It's very healthy and yeah. very nutritious, mm -hmm. yeah. And do you put a little bit of milk? Okay, sometimes I usually put a little bit of milk because or of the coconut soup. milk. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's usually so good and creamy. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's another recipe that you need to see. Actually, so in today's recipe, we are, we, we're using coconut milk. Oh, wow. I know viewers stay tuned <laughs> eh? good things big things are gone yeah <laughs> right about now mm -hmm. our our now the third piece is ready mm -hmm. so we are going to gently remove it from now the the oil pole pole too i can assist you yeah, yeah you can gently oh wow Look at that color. Zoom into that and get into it. Oh wow, look at that. On to now our that piece. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, it's the fourth one. Yeah. Look at that. Today I'm learning. Wow. 
By the way, we are having a lot of fun in this kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Who knew cooking could be so much fun? It's so much fun. Actually, the people who don't like cooking, I usually just, I'm usually like, wow. Wow. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Like, who the, if you love eating, of course you need to love eating. Yeah. And I'm cook. here to show you how to cook different meals if you don't know how to. Using the simplest ingredients, by the Imagine. Way. Things this that you can the, always the, get this them. This is just fish and tomatoes, nothing yeah. else. And fish, you can just get it down the road from Apo Mama or Samaki. And then they, a mechoma. A mechoma, mm. a pingina, they have even removed the intestine. So look Good. at that. Isn't this heaven? But this is in my head. This is how even heaven looks heaven like. Sent. <laughs> Today you are heaven sent. Thank you. Yeah. So we are going to turn off the heat because we're wow. done frying our fish. And then we are going to show you the next step. Onto a large um, pan. Yeah. This beautiful pan of ours. Oh wow. It's so huge. It's so huge, it's so beautiful. But the way it's so and in fact it's so good for this recipe. Yeah, yeah. Because you know we are dealing with fish. Yeah. So we need every fish to be in its um on, on its own position yeah. and it should be fully submerged in the sauce. So Oh no, let me switch. help you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> switch on. As we wait for the pan to heat up, I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. So as we wait for the oil to get hot, here's our very beautiful, beautiful. fish. I have tomatoes, uh, red and green capsicum, coriander, tomato paste, onions and garlic. The garlic I've chopped it roughly. Mm -hmm. And I have a banero which have removed the seed because I don't want the heat to be too much and salt. It's a simple recipe. By the way, I didn't know that um, the seeds make um, the habanero itself so hot. Yeah, actually it's every chili. If you don't like hot or spicy, you should remove the seeds. You should remove the seeds and then you you slice the flesh. Yeah, okay. it's going to be a little bit mild. But wow. if you use the seed, let me tell you. Kids don't eat the <laughs> fish, of course. Even not kids, even new. Oh, wow. It becomes no Okay, the, the people who eat a lot of spicy, but me, I just like it mild. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's so good. Even the kids can also partake yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Does that apply also to now the... the ho -ho? Capsicum. Yeah. Capsicum. No, yeah. the capsicum is just mild. It's, it's just, just mild. mild. Yeah. Okay. That's an interesting fact. <laughs> yeah. Now our oil is hot. Hot enough, yeah. Uh, we put in our onions first, by the way. By the way, you guys, the garlic usually takes a shorter time to cook. That's why we will put it um, after the, onions. the onions have oh. cooked for some uh, for a little time. Oh, look at that sizzle. So nice. So nice, beautiful. Okay, for a little bit of fragrance on, and also for a little bit of being extra, extra <laughs> eh? Yeah. If I, if I say so, we're going to put a little bit of our dania. Yeah. Yeah, kidogo too. Um, we're going to wait for a few seconds for our onions just to brown just a little bit. Then you're going to put our garlic. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to add in our now garlic. Mm hmm Listen to that sizzle. Yeah. Don't you love the sizzle of fresh garlic? Yeah, yeah. Look at if that. If you don't have the ga fresh garlic, you can use the Powder. powdered one. Yeah. Now we're going to add in our our tomato sauce or nyanya. We're going to wait for the tomatoes to cook through. And then we are going to show you the next step. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you can see guys um, uh, our tomatoes have cooked through yeah now we're going to add in our assorted peppers ah, that word <laughs> too much english <laughs> okay and our habanero do the honors <laughs> everything but i really love habanero mm. thank you and for introducing don't me don't forget the Tomato paste, by yeah. the way. We are almost um, forgetting the tomato paste. Um, this is about um around a two tablespoon. A tablespoon. A tablespoon yeah. We're just going to add all of it in. Salt. Yeah. Very important. Just a little bit because we remember we had put some salt as we on, fried as we fried our, our lovely fish. Yep. Right now, at this point, we are going to deglaze our pan. As you can see, it has a little bit of water. You can see that it's sticky. 
Uh, on to our next step right now, we're going to put in our beautiful coconut cream. Yeah, I love coconut cream. Me too, I do. This is going to be delicious. And it's going, by the way, you know why you're putting in the coconut cream? It's number one for flavor, of course. Yeah. And also it will thicken now the, 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 sauce. Pay, the sauce itself. Yeah. yeah. But then you, you guys, you keep on, as throughout the video and also in your own, when you're trying to do it by yourself, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be adding a little bit of water as you go on. Because, yeah. because the, you see the sauce is a bit thick. thick. It tends to stick onto the pan. Yeah. Don't be scared, but make sure it doesn't burn yeah. because you don't want a dark. You can even reduce the heat to medium or medium low. Yeah. If you don't want the sauce to burn. Yeah. Right about now, we're going to put in now the 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 queen of the hour yeah. what you say <laughs> the, the star of the, the show the, the star of the show the <laughs> guest of the show um our beautiful fish that we had fried earlier on yeah you see the way this pan is so big each fish will have its own space which is which is what Very we want nice, yeah. because you know you don't want to be mixing or stirring the the fish as it cooks You guys, right now, you're going now to garnish our meal. Yeah. With um, coriander. Yeah, coriander. 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 Okay, that's so funny. <laughs> Actually, you've been laughing here as we wait for the fish to cook. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to garnish. Wow, look at that. Okay, guys, right about now, our meal is very much ready. Now mm -hmm. you're going to plate our beautiful fish. Wow. Look at that. Wow. They look so good. Don't they? Yeah. Definitely. Look at that. Our From the best piece. cook in the entire world. Amen to that. <laughs> Oh, look at that. And then we are going to add a little bit of sauce. Oh, a little bit of sauce. Look at the sauce. So thick. So thick. Grown-ups will enjoy it. The children <laughs> will enjoy it. Everybody. The only thing missing is ugali. Hey! Which will cook in a few. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I hope you try out this spicy tilapia. And you will surely enjoy. I know. It's yummy. I know. It I smells can feel it in yummy. my guts. <laughs> it smells. Yeah, the aroma in this kitchen. It's so good. So thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Brenda, for showing us how to make this fish. And I hope you try it at home and enjoy. Catch you on our next one. Bye. -bye. Bye.